Hey everybody, happy Valentine's Day, Sunday night, February 14th. I'm going to show you two short-range models, the NAM and the RGEM. These two models like to duke it out in the last 24 hours before an event approaches. So first up is the NAM. Now it initialized a little aggressive with the precipitation shield through the Ohio Valley here. The darker blues are, are more likely the actual snow falling. The lighter blue here on the fringe in here, that's likely Virga, just evaporating before it hits the surface. But the darker blues are snowfall. So the NAM has the entire state of New Jersey under widespread snow by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. I think that might be a little bit overdone. I think the snow might not arrive until later in the morning, but we'll see. The NAM could be onto something. This high pressure is crucial to everything. If it moves away quicker, then we'll see a, a warmer solution. If, it, if it's slower to depart, we'll see more of a snowy solution like, like this NAM. So this is the initial overrunning precipitation where most of our snowfall totals are going to come. Eventually, the, the rain snow line is going to push northward. By 18Z, which is 2 p.m., it's flirting with South Jersey, extreme South Jersey. By 8 p.m. tomorrow night, we have ice through parts of central and northern Jersey. And then we're by tomorrow night, we're too warm for snow for most of the state. And then the low passes 997 over North Carolina. A lot of rainfall there. A lot of strong southerly winds and, and heavy rainfall statewide uh, late tomorrow night into Tuesday. The lows are 986 over the Poconos, it looks like. So that should be that should be a pretty disruptive disturbance. Lots of lots of rainfall. The snow rain line, it looks like State College and, and West from there stays snow throughout this whole thing. So they're looking at a bigger snowfall. For Jersey, just a snow to ice to rain situation. It then moves out. We clear Tuesday night into Wednesday, and we moderate in temperatures for the rest of the week. Once it's raining by Tuesday in New Jersey, it should be well into the 50s for temperatures, and it should stay like that into the weekend. So that should all feel pretty amazing after the cold Arctic air that we've endured. So let's go over to the RGEM now, Canadian model. There's that high. Here's the precipitation moving in. But the RGEM doesn't bring precipitation into New Jersey until 2 p.m., so early afternoon. So again, there's some there's some disagreement as to whether, when the snow is going to start. Could be as early as 8 or 9 a.m. Could be as late as as early afternoon. But there will be there should be an initial burst of snow. The rain snow line crashes north. There's that ice zone that is late tomorrow night, about 10 p.m. It looks, and then all rain, little dry slot there, but mostly rain, and that's as far as the RGEM goes out. So in taking these two models and, and applying their recent verification into weighing them out, as well as looking at current observations, I've come up with the following impact map. The pink area will start as a burst of snow, but go quickly over to rain with hardly any ice whatsoever. Maybe a couple minutes, but not, nothing crazy. The lighter blue area will start as snow, but should see a period of icing before the, the snow ch changes over to rain. As far as ice accumulations, I think in this area maybe a tenth of an inch at most. That could still be pretty disruptive, but not nothing really compared to other ice storms that we've had. But you do have the chance to see two to four inches of snow before the changeover. A little more snow than the pink area. And you will have just a little bit of ice, whereas the pink area does not. Moving northwest to the darker blue here. Now this area could see four to six inches of snow. As far as New Jersey goes, it only includes the, the extreme elevations of northwest Jersey. So you might actually go back to snow over here, but you will also go to a mix of ice and then rain before going back. Now this area could maybe see a quarter inch of ice accumulations between the four to six inches of snow and the rainy transition. So a little more disruptive along here ice-wise tomorrow night into Monday morning. And then finally this area to our northwest should see the jackpot accumulations of this system. It doesn't really affect New Jersey that much, but if you're following from up there, you should expect at least six inches of snow with 
very minimal mixing. So this is how I, I see it playing out. The snow starts anytime between sunrise and early afternoon tomorrow. It transitions over to rain for everybody, but not before possibly throwing some ice down for central and north Jersey. We'll call it tomorrow afternoon-ish for, for that transition. And then uh, if anyone's going to change back over to snow, it'll be on Tuesday once the low is, is past us to our north-northeast because until that low is past us, it will just be too warm. So heavy rain and possible flash flooding from the heavy rain is possible once everyone changes over. Again, just a snow to ice to rain situation. I'll be live casting starting tomorrow morning. Uh, for now, everybody have a great rest of your Sunday evening and be safe.